Hello, my name is Leah Howard and I'm the plant pathologist at PGRO. This presentation will introduce common diseases in field beans, their symptoms, risk factors for disease development, and management options. Downy mildew is a foliar disease of beans. It is characterized by pale lesions on the upper side of the leaves, which are covered in gray mycelium on the underside of leaves. Spring beans are more likely to be impacted by downy mildew than winter beans. Symptoms usually appear from early May in periods of cooler and wet weather. Severe infection can result in up to 30% yield reduction. The descriptive list for spring and winter beans include tolerance ratings for downy mildew. Varieties with a rating of seven or higher are best suited for higher risk areas. Currently, Metalaxalem, the product name is SL567A under an EMU, is approved for downy mildew control in field beans. A spraying threshold of disease presence on 25% of plants is advised. One of the most damaging diseases in beans is chocolate spot. Chocolate spot usually occurs from May onwards and winter beans are more prone to disease development than spring beans. Chocolate colored small round lesions appear on leaves which can, if left uncontrolled, merge and necrotic areas can then cover large areas of the leaves. Yield impacts of up to 50% have been seen. Risk for disease development is greatest in early sown winter beans with high plant density. The associated microclimate is very conducive for chocolate spot development. Beans grown in the west and north of the country are at highest risks. Control is essential if cool and wet weather is forecast during flowering. The best spray timing to protect yield is at mid-flower, which coincides with first pots. And several act active, such as azoxystrobin and boscalid pasparacrostrobin, provide control of chocolate spot. A very damaging late season disease is bean rust. Infection starts in periods of warm days and humid nights, usually from June to July onwards. Rust colored pustules occur in leaves, which can, if left uncontrolled, cover the whole leaf area quickly which then leads to defoliation of the whole crop. Yield reductions of up to 70% are possible. Risk for disease development is greatest in warm summers and control is essential if disease develops before pots are filled. The best actives for rust control are azoxystrobin and tapuconazole and these should be applied at late flower. Foot rot is a soil-borne disease that is caused by a pathogen complex infecting roots. Infected plants show blackened stem bases and roots, and their water and nutrient uptakes are reduced. The risk of disease development is greatest on heavy soils, in close rotations and in fields with poor soil structure. Compaction and water logging greatly increase risk. Weak seedlings and so crops sown into cold soils are more prone to disease establishment. The only foot rot management option is lengthening rotations. This summarizes the most prevalent diseases in beans. Other diseases, such as Ascochyta, Sarcospora, or Sclerotinia, also occur. And more information can be found on the PGO website.